Hi everybody, it's me, Carrie, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Farmington Hills, Michigan. Here, a little bit late. Um, and the reason I'm a little bit late is I am um, playing with stuff that um, I, I really am not finished with what I wanted to share. And I'm going to be perfectly honest that I, um, I'm casing um, this idea from another demonstrator who I watched. And I wanted to finish this one card, but um, I've been having trouble actually coming down here and working because um, of my discomfort level. But anyway, um, memoryinkers.com, that's going to take you right to my Stampin' Up! website. For shopping Stampin' Up! products, please use this hostess code. Z as in zebra, J as in jack, S as in Sam993. W as in Walter, K as in Carrie. So, <clears throat> there you go. All right, so what I'm going to talk about, and I have, I kind of have stuff everywhere. So, um, I mean, the things you can do with, with these, these um, enamel effects, they come in two different packs. Oh, make sure you say hello um, and let me know where you're from. So the metallic enamel comes in gold, bronze, and silver, okay? And then there is the crystal, is that what it's called? Pearlized. Pearlized come in white, red, and black. And they, they are a little bit different, just so you know. So, um... And obviously, you can tell by the names. The pearlized are, are pearly looking, obviously. So, let me slide those aside. And I am going to show you what most of us think of when we see things like this. So, let me zoom in here. So, this is kind of what we think about. We think, oh, well, we can grab this stuff and we can make little dots. This is a silicone craft sheet. So if you squeeze it, you can make a medium dot, a teeny tiny dot, uh, squeeze it more, you get a big fat dot. You can draw swirlies. That one would come out terrible because it's got too many thin spots in it. And then you let it dry. Kind of like I did here. Terrible heart shapes, but you can then, once they dry, they come off your silicone craft sheet and you can now use them on, oh, you could trim this so that it actually looks like a heart. <laughs> but look at these, look at these little um, dots now you've got. But you can do this direct to your project. So while this is cool, um, if you want maybe to put them in a shaker card and you want to make a bunch of loose dots, um, seems like a lot of work in my opinion, but you can do this directly onto your project. So this is what most of us think about when we think about these squeeze bottles is, is making some little shapes. But I watched, uh, another demonstrator do some amazing things. And I started to, um, I started a, a card that I am going to, I'll finish it and I'll post it, but look at this. This is the black pearlized enamel effects. And it's just stripes. They're dry now. You can heat set them with your heat gun if you're in a hurry. Hi, Linda. Um, but it's longer than it would need to be so that I could cut it off and it would look like cool. And it's, it's, can you hear that? It is raised up. Now, I don't particularly have like a guitar or a violin stamp set, but imagine putting this over the string area and then the strings of your instrument would be dimensional. Hmm. But this is, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to 100% case her card, but I didn't have time to work on one of the um, things that she suggested, um, which would be taking the, um, pearlized white and making splooches of it and then adding re-inkers and changing the colors to get whatever color you want. Then, of course, you can't squeeze it out, but you can use your painter pens 
to paint it without water. Don't use water. And I'm telling you this only because I didn't get it done. Um, but I will, I'll try to do it on another video, but honestly, she did a, a pretty good video on it. Um, and for the life of me, her name is escaping me. It's not because I don't want you to go find her. Um, but it, she did really great stuff. And if I remember her name or I'll go look it up later and I'll let you guys know. Um, anyway, that, that's, this is going to go on that card. And I'm when her card was so gorgeous, 100% going to copy it. So, all right. So now what I am going to show you guys today, and I do want something underneath here is I'm going to take, I'm going to be using the, the, um, metallics. Okay. And I've got some old, old sponge pieces that I have cut because I want to use a lot of them. And I'm going to show you this fun technique. So I'm staying zoomed in for this. And I am just adding some globs of the copper. And then I'm going to add some of the gold right by it. And you see how it kind of splurted out right there? You kind of want to maybe test it sometimes. Like if you're going to make those little dots on your project, test it out before it doesn't go all over your project. You don't want that. Okay, so now I've got the gold. And you don't want to wait too long because these are going to, they'll dry. And you don't want that to happen. So, I have a finished one though, so for you guys. So you guys can see it. Now I'm going to take the uh, little piece of sponge. I mean, it's a, just a tiny, and you see it's an old sponge. And I'm going to start with the silver just because it's light. And I'm just going to drag it all the way across my cardstock. This is very vanilla cardstock. And you don't have to do it this way. In fact, when you see mine, it's the one that's dry looks a little different. Now I'm going to move up to the gold. Oops. You can probably see the gold um, smearing in a little better. I'm just smearing it across. And then I'm going to do the copper. So, I mean, look at how cool this is. And see, there's like a little, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but, you know, you can leave the thick lines in it. It will take longer to dry where the thick lines are. But um, if you want the texture, that is, um, you can leave it in there, like that, that little lump right there. So, that is basically what I did. And then I set it aside to dry. And it looks something like this. Okay. Now, this is bigger than I want it to be. But I want to show you that for the inside of the card, I did a little bit of the same thing. This is going to go on the inside of my card. So, here's what I'm doing. I know that I'm going to mat this um, on a four by five and a quarter piece. So I am going to trim it down. Now this is the side that looks the worst, in my opinion. So I wanted to go three and three quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off from this side. I still have an edge, but I'm okay with that. And then to me, this bottom looks the worst. So I'm going to take that to five inches. Okay, so I think I did that right. Is that three and three quarters? Yep, yeah, okay. All right, so now I have that, and then I am going to take this, and I am going to run it through my folder as soon as I find it. You know, I told you I had piles, right? Here it is. Yay! And grab a couple of other things because I'll be doing something else too. So uh, this is online right now. It is called, at least it was before, you know how online goes. So if you don't see it, it means it's gone, but I think it's still there. It's called um, Leaf Fall and it is a 3D. Can you see how pretty that is? I have to uh, watch where I'm at. Sorry. This is what happens when you zoom. There you go. Now you can see it. 
All right, so I'm going to run this through. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back because I forget. Whoops, wrong way. I forget what I'm doing, and then you guys don't see things. So I'm going to run this now that it's dry. Make sure it's dry or else it's going to stick to your embossing folder. And I'm going to put it in here in a way that I get as many leaves as I can. And I want more at the bottom. So, I'm trying to remember how I did it last time. I think I just did it like that. Yeah. And I just scooted it all the way over so that I could get more leaves over in this area. Okay? So I'm going to go run that through my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And it is 3D, so you need the base and just this number four um, when you do that. You take all the other plates off. And I, I don't put this, um, my stamp and cut and emboss underneath the video very often because it's so big and you can't see it. <clears throat> and I'm not one of those demonstrators who has several different cameras. Um, so, all right, but look at how pretty. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Isn't that pretty? Love it, love it, love it, love it. So that is called the Leaf Fall. Okay, I believe it's 11, it's still $11, I think. So now I'm looking for, there it is. I'm looking for the stuff. See, this is almost dry, but um, I would not want to put this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine on my folder because it's still too wet. But I do want this piece here. So let me set that aside and put that on my other scrap. So it doesn't get stuff everywhere because it will stay and I don't want it to. <clears throat> All right. So now I kind of want to highlight these leaves a little bit and I was trying to decide what I was going to do. So I grabbed some pumpkin pie and some coastal cabana. These are the colors of the cardstock I'm going to be using to complete my card. So that's why I picked those colors. So I've got a sponge dauber here, and I'm just going to add some color to parts of the leaf. And you're going to see that um, it doesn't always show up on some of these darker ones. It will a little bit. Oh, maybe I better zoom again. Sorry, you guys. Let me zoom in again. Okay. <clears throat> so, so you don't see it like hugely, but see here where it's on the... On the silver, you can see where where I'm adding some of the um, pumpkin pie here to these leaves. Okay. And I'm just barely tapping the raised edges. I'm not trying to get crazy with it. I just want to add a little more depth to the leaves than is already there. And I'm not worried about that. See how I got a little there? I don't care. It's all right. Hey, this is artistic, right? And sometimes when you're being artistic, things happen. And it's fun. Okay, so now I have, I might add more pumpkin pie, but now I'm going to add some Coastal Cabana to some of these leaves just for fun to add some more color to them. But it gives them a little bit. Now, see, this is going to show up a little bit more, if you guys can see that. It's showing up a little bit more than the pumpkin pie did on the uh, darker embossed areas. And like I said, you just want to add enough color so your leaves can be noticeable. A little even I mean they're pretty noticeable when you just emboss it it looks it looks pretty cool but um, it's just some fun so <clears throat> all right so see it's not a lot it's just a little bit just to give it a little bit more color to the design 
So I'm thinking you guys can see that pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna zoom back out. Look at that, I got it right on the first time. Ah! I should be getting some hearts and applause and stuff for that, you guys, because you know I almost always go in too tight. Um, okay, so now what I did was I took Coastal Cabana and I I cut this circle right out of the center because it's going to mat this, so I wasn't worried about that. And that comes from the Stylish Shapes. You guys know this is one of my favorite. It is as far as I know, still available online. It is, I would say go grab it in case it goes away because it is, it is um, pretty awesome. It's number, I don't know, I can't read it through the thing. 15918 something, 183. And it's $30. So, awesome set. Then I have pumpkin pie for my card base. So what I did was I punched out another circle in pumpkin pie, and then I stamped um, this beautiful sentiment, which is from, this is actually a beautiful set. This is in the annual catalog, Autumn Leaves. It is beautiful. So I know that there's an autumn one coming out, but um, I'm not buying it because I have this. And to me, this is just as beautiful. So um, if you... If you're looking for a, a leaf one and you, you don't want to wait, but it's a couple of days, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> so whichever one is going to it's gonna make you happy. It's a great set. So that's where the um, sentiment, Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. So now I am going to take this. I have another card that I did. I was just, I don't know that I love it. But it was fun to play with, so I'll show you guys that at the end, too. Um, it's really a bummer because I want to play with this stuff so much, but I end up spending the majority of my days upstairs on my heating pad making notes of stuff I want to do. Um, so, there we go. So that's that so far. Here's my card base. And then for the inside, I decided this is okay, but I wanted to bring in some of the Coastal Cabana. So I am going to put um, a little bit on here. I probably should trim this down a little bit. I'll think about it. I'm thinking about it, okay? So I'm going to line this up on my grid. And then I'm going to line this up on my grid and do quarter of an inch hanging out. So then I've got that nice edge. And I'll trim that. I am going to need to cut this down a little bit or it'll be too fat for the inside of my card. Um, so let me grab my trimmer again. And since that's wet, I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to line up that Coastal Cabana to the 4-inch. Oops. Open. <laughs> okay. So now it's going to be more the right side. And you, and you still have room where you can write um, with that little bit there. So this is going to go on my inside. So, um... This is what I learned from the other demonstrator is um, don't don't look at something and go, oh, it's only for this. You can do so much more with it. Um, and I do like to try and show you those things. So I'm hoping this gets you guys thinking, even though I don't have all of the ones done that I would like to. It's okay. So... Weird. Okay, and then this. And see how now when it's on with the paper or with the pumpkin pie, 
you can start to see more of the pumpkin pie coloring popping out. So for this, what I did was I took a little bit of our liquid glue and I just slid this on here off to the side and slightly above. So you can see it's a little bit in that direction. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put a little under there. Right here. And I will go behind and slightly down. About the same width. Okay. So now I have this fun little sentiment. I'm trying to get to my pop dots, my Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm just going to put those on there so I can pop this up. Take a half of one there. And I am going to add some bling to this as well. So see, it's it's not a super crazy card. Oh, I did do something different on the other one. I'll show you guys when I when I show it. So then I got the um, metallic gems. These are adhesive backed. They are in the annual catalog, and their colors are um, champagne gold and silver. So I decided I liked the um, gold this time. I think the last one I used the champagne, but on this one. I'm going to go ahead and use the gold to just be kind of a fun little bling there. Okay, so here is my finished card. I'm going to zoom in again for you guys so you can see. Whoops, a little too far. So this is the finished card. Here is the one that I did before. And you can see, I just used a strip that was left over, the one that I did on the inside. I used it here as in, in lieu of a ribbon. So um, don't forget, if you don't have the ribbon in the color you want and you don't want to um, fuss with coloring them with your blends markers, cardstock works. Just use some cardstock. So you can see they're both, um, they're a little bit different. Um, but, but it's the same card. So that is what's fun about doing this stuff. Now, let me show you some other stuff that I did. Now I was playing around and I thought, what if I just squiggled a bunch, um, and then stamped it kind of like that. Now my silver got away from me. It was the first time I used the silver in a while. And so it went... And it made these weird shapes. But if I were going to be matting it with something, um, which I haven't gotten around to yet, I'll do that and I'll post them. But see, it could make a fun background for um, for something. I don't know what. This was just playtime. But then I decided to be a little bit more sophisticated. Thank you. I love those colors together, too. They packaged them really well. So here is the other card. I always have to see where I am in camera. Okay. And there's a delay. So I stamped the leaf and um, from the stamp set right here. I actually um, stamped it in pumpkin pie, but I stamped it off because it was pretty intense. Um, and then I stamped it on the card. So it was actually lighter. And then I actually used the colors just with the nozzle. Um, and just carefully kind of colored in different areas. And I, um, I outlined this whole thing with, with this. Use the gold to highlight the stems of the card. Um, and then I, I was like, oh, that's okay. So I, I did stripes and then I decided to do dots. Well, my dots got messed up. I don't know why. I think I was, my medication was a little strong or something. But, um, so I just said, okay, fine. If it happens and if it doesn't, I'll make it happen. There's a couple here where I just made it happen. 
Um, and then I don't know if you guys can tell this um, from the background, but the background has the um, folder. I'll have to look to see what it's called. But that folder has a bunch of dots, too. So I thought that was kind of fun. So let me squeeze back down so I can put all three of them down for you and my weird little my weird little squiggly things um let me see if that folder is sitting here on my desk or did i like actually put it away which would be kind of a shock but <clears throat> apparently i did my family's been trying to help me stay organized <clears throat> but they don't know where things go i mean you know <laughs> so I don't know where I put it. I know I did it, not them. So, um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, those are my cards for today. And like I said, this comes from a really cool card that I am going to case 100% because it was so beautiful and I will post it and I'll, I'll figure out something to do with these little weird squigglies because why not? You got to play, right? And find out what are you going to do? I don't know. But um, it's fun to play with stuff. So anyway, have a blessed and wonderful week, everybody. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.